27 years ago tonight, detectives were on the trail of a killer. These so-called fast food murders shook the communities of Hermitage, Donaldson, and Clarksville. Seven lives taken, families devastated, the entire region on edge. News 2's Andy Cordan talked with two investigators who pursue justice for the victims and their families. February 1997. A lone gunman executes two Donaldson Captain D's employees, 16-year-old Sarah Jackson and 25-year-old Steve Hampton. Both are discovered inside the restaurant's cooler. It's a robbery homicide where you have two victims where the bad guy comes in and kills two people, puts them in the cooler. I mean, that's very unusual. You really don't have that type of crime happen on a regular basis. A month later, another horrific crime scene this time at the McDonald's in Hermitage. First thing I thought was, Lord, please don't let this be another Captain D's. It's here that three people are shot to death. 17-year-old Andrea Brown, 27-year-old Ronald Santiago, and 23-year-old Robert Sewell Jr. I just don't understand why they had to kill her. Because, I mean, she was 17 years old. You know, that, that wasn't fair. A fourth employee, Jose Gonzalez. He's been stabbed 17 times. He miraculously survives. Uh, the three were shot. The one that survived was stabbed, which we, found, we thought to be unusual. The caliber of weapon at McDonald's was different from the caliber of weapon at Captain D. So then we decided, well, it, it, it still can be connected. Even though we have different calibers, we still may be looking for the same person. A month later, a lone gunman kidnaps two young women from the Baskin Robbins store in Clarksville. The bodies of 16-year-old Michelle Mace and 21-year-old Angela Holmes. They're found in Dunbar Cave State Park. This is senseless, and I hope whoever did it goes to hell. You know, it's making me afraid to go, you know, just to even eat at a restaurant now. Seven brutal murders in 67 days. Swung between, on one hand, feeling this enormous sorrow for our community, and on the other hand, this incredible outrage that somebody could do such a thing. Police are stumped. Family members agonized. A community on edge. You're shaking. I, I'm scared to death. Fearing that a serial killer is on the loose. I'm supposed to work tomorrow, but I'm going to call my manager and let her know that I won't be in. In 1997, Pat Pastiglione was the lead Metro homicide detective working the Captain D's killings. I mean, there's just no rhyme or reason for any of that. The anxiety was incredible for the citizens, for the detectives, obviously for the families because we didn't know who we were looking for. Mike Breedlove is a TBI agent. The bodies were found, I want to say, around 14 hours later. Assigned to the Baskin-Robbins double killing. My primary assignment was interviewing the family members, uh, primarily Michelle Mace, the 16-year-old who was murdered. In part two, we examine how the investigation intensifies. The, this guy must know what he's doing. He's done this kind of thing before. The safe has been opened. The safe is now locked. Evidence is developed. Because we knew we had a serial murderer or a murderer on, on the loose who was going into fast food places. Every lead is chased. We walked, I remember, it was 3.1 miles, and we found several items belonging to Steve Hampton, the homicide victim at Captain D's. Well, we were able to get a pretty good fingerprint off one of those items. And finally, a murderer brought to justice. They do have a lot of interest in this man as new clues continue to develop. Andy Cordan, News 2. Tomorrow evening here on News 2 at 6, the break in the case. Andy talks with investigators about stress and the massive effort to make the arrest.